Hi again, Dr. Michael Corsillis here. I wanted to talk about this time about, uh, I'm going to be doing a short series about chronic fatigue. A lot of us in our society are just burned out. We feel tired, run down all day long. So in, uh, in this initial video, I just want to talk about some of the uh, quick introduction about some, like doing a quick survey uh, if, if you qualify for what I call adrenal burnout. So a couple questions to think about is, uh, do you rely on coffee to, to boost your energy? Coffee, caffeine, soda, any of those kind of things. Uh, do you have problems falling asleep? Do you still wake up tired even after a full night's sleep? Do you get irritated easily? Um, do you get brain fog or problems concentrating? Um, a few other questions you might want to think about as well is, do you work 50 or more hours a week, which most of us do, unfortunately? Do you have more than one job? Do you enjoy your job? Uh, if you like your job, are there other stressors at home? Are there other factors at home that might be contributing to this fatigue? Um, and when's the last time you did something for fun? And if you did do something for fun, uh, when you did, like, for example, go back from vacation and start back at the J-O-B, did the energy level start going back down? Those are, those are all signs. If you answered all, a lot of these questions, you're like, yeah, I, I, I do, and, uh, I, I do have a lot of these issues with low energy going on and I answered yes to a lot of these questions and something you should talk to your um, healthcare provider about these because there can be a number of other issues that contribute to fatigue such as um, you might be anemic, low iron, uh, uh, your thyroid might be off, you might be low in vitamin D, um, are you, do you have depression, so there's a number of things that you need to talk with your healthcare provider about. So, uh, so on the next video I'm going to talk about a couple things what to do um, if once all those labs come back normal and you're not anemic, you're not hypothyroid, etc., and so on and so forth. All right, stay tuned.